So in the last video, I showed you how to navigate between scenes on Twine um, and how to create your branching storyline. In this video, I want to show you how to use some basic variables and a little bit of control flow um, so that you can make your story a little bit more interesting. Um, and so what I want to do here is I have a situation where the player is um, in a clearing and the player finds a chest. And when you take a look at the chest, I want the, um, the program to test whether or not that chest has been opened. If the chest hasn't been opened, I want the user to open the chest and look inside. And then if the chest has been opened, I want it to say that the chest is already open and then describe um, the empty chest for the user. So I'm going to do all this in this new uh, node that I've created called chest. And um, I'm going to do this using a little bit of the Harlow programming language that comes along with Twine. Um, and these are some really basic things that you can do um, in your story too. So what I want to do here is I want to test whether or not this chest has been opened. And so I'm going to do that using an if-else statement. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put if in parentheses here and I say if colon and then um, my variable chest underscore opened is true. Okay, so this is the test. I'm testing this variable, which I haven't set yet. I'm going to set it in a second. Um, testing this variable and seeing whether it's true. If the chest is opened, then I want to print the statement, you look in the chest and see nothing but cobwebs. Okay? Now, I want to do something else if the chest is not opened yet. And so I can test everything else. I can test that chest open variable on every other possibility if I say, if I just use an else. So I put else inside these uh, parentheses here. And in my square brackets, because that's um, where I put the thing that happens if this test case is true. So else, I'm going to write, you enter the clearing, or sorry, you look at the chest and find that it is unlocked. You open it but you find nothing inside. Now, what's going to happen here, um, if I were to play this, is I would end up um, actually just seeing uh, this else statement, because chest open hasn't been set to anything yet. Um, and so what I want to do here is I want to set my variable um, chest opened and I want to set it at the end of this statement here. Now notice I'm doing it inside these square brackets. And I'm going to use a Harlow set statement. So the set statement goes set colon. And then I use my variable chest opened. And then I'm going to set this to true. So what's happening here is I'm going to look at the chest, finding it unlocked. I open it, but I find nothing inside. And then this variable chest open will be set to true. The next time I come into this node, chest opened will be true, and so it'll uh, show me this line. You look in the chest and see nothing but cobwebs instead. So let me show you this in action, and you can see a little bit about uh, how this works here. So if I click off of this, um, I'm going to play my story. I find myself in the middle of a forest. There's a path to the east and to the south. I go east, I enter a clearing in the middle, and in the middle of the clearing is a chest. I look at the chest. You look at the chest and you find that it is unlocked. You open it, but you find nothing inside. Now I go back to the clearing, and when I look at the chest again, it gives me a problem. Now let me see if I can figure out what's going on here. Maybe I need to go back to the clearing in order for all of this to evaluate the way that I want it to. I'm going to try that. 
So I'm going to go back to the clearing. Now let's try playing this again. There we go. So um, when you look at the chest, so if I start over again, let me go back to my screen here. I'm going to play starting from the very beginning. I find myself in the middle of a forest. There's a path to the east and the south. Go east. You enter a clearing, and in the middle of the clearing is a chest. Look at the chest. I look at the chest and find that it's unlocked. I open it, but I find nothing inside. Go back to the clearing. And then if I look at the chest again, I look in the chest and see nothing but cobwebs. So this is working the way that it's supposed to. So with this if-else statement, the main things here is to uh, notice how variables are set. So you can set variables using this set keyword. Um, and you set a variable to something, um, usually a string. And then you can check that variable using an if-else statement. So if the variable is the thing that you want it to be, you print this. Else, you print this. And then notice that for the, the blocks after you're checking your variable, uh, the thing that you want it to do if the chest opened is true, that whole thing needs to be enclosed in square brackets. Okay, so this is a little more complicated, um, and you don't need to use this kind of syntax. If you wanted to create a branching story that just had two separate nodes, um, you could do that. But um, this will help you uh, make your story a little bit more manageable and um, hopefully um, help you be a little more creative in what you do with Twine. I hope this was useful. Um, good luck.